Hey, welcome back to the channel. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Comment down below, man. It's crazy out here in Memphis, man. Condolences to all the people of Memphis. We had that one dude going crazy, 19-year-old, connected to black youngster. Look what Yo Gotti and CMG got everybody doing in Memphis, man. They got this kid going crazy, trying to hunt down all these people and live streamed it on Facebook, man. Y'all got to understand that shooter is connected to black youngster one way or another. They trying to get rid of witnesses, man. And the same way that Jeremiah Taylor got hit, the same way that Maurice Hill brother got hit in the mall and everything like that, this all has something to do revolving around the people who know something about the doll situation, man. So look, I just spoke to my sources in Memphis and they told me that somebody who seen Black Youngster a long time ago with Sean Dale, straight dropping all of them, the same dude was with them. This dude is hanging out with Shondell, the one who just got caught up. Feds just got him. MPD found him. But they found him riding around in Moneybag Yo's car. He had a red infinity. And the tags, when you look at the tags, it's come back down, registered to BGE, Big Homie G, and Moneybag Yo, man. Y'all got to understand this whole thing is a setup, man. People out here in Yo Gotti and CMG. They be doing all this and influencing all these people in the streets, man, and be trying to send hits. They be getting all these youngins to do their dirty work for them. And at the end of the day, man, this whole thing is a revolving door. Like, we still have to deal with the young Dolph situation. And here they go firing off on other people and everything like that. One thing you got to realize is that this whole thing was a back door from the beginning. Big Moochie Grape, that turkey drive. Key Glock got Young Dolph jewelry. Makita's Raven lied in the interview. Young Dolph never drove to Makita's. They took his car keys from the clinic. He got the same yellow shirt on from when he was at Ruth Chris. And at Ruth Chris, whenever they took that picture of him, somebody hit him in the back of the head with an iron bat right after the picture was taken. They tied him up and they took him to that U-Haul. They try to have him sign all these little documents so they could get their money out of him. They took him and took his card and literally tried to wipe everything down until uh, basically the alerts came up on his app. Young Dolph rides around with three phones. He did a GQ interview and said that he has at least two or three iPhones with him. The main one that he has is the main one. He has a second one in case the first one runs out of battery and he probably got a third one just for personal or business or some type of money that's going to be getting behind that. Young Dolph's phones was never recovered. One of them was found in a burning dumpster behind Makita's and his wallet was found in the bushes. Black Youngster's footprints was seen on the side of Family Dollar and a little kid saw Moneybag Yo hopping into Bentley right on Pecan Lane, man. And... Young Dolph's brother was seen by one of the neighbors behind the laundromat exiting his vehicle on Joy Lane. Makita's Raven and her mom came to the back of Makita's at 9 a.m. and they were inside the cookie shop waiting. Young Dolph was somehow tied up in that shop, allegedly. Now, Key Glock, Key Glock and Trula had ties. Makita's Raven and Trula has ties. Everybody in Memphis has ties with something. This was a whole setup. They used the people around Dolph because they knew that collectively they all could come together as some type of people who was trying to overthrow Dolph as the king of Memphis, man. A lot of people were jealous of Dolph. Dolph had hundreds of millions of dollars, man. He owned half of Memphis and properties. His cars that was camo, motherfuckers was jealous of him. It's worth $2.3 million dollars. Mia J try to inherit all the dollars that Dolph had plus the cars and attempted to sell everything for $10 million. Young Dolph left behind mansions that were the size of entire city blocks. And he was supposed to have a museum with everything. Moneybag Yo took Young Dolph's water deal and, and Snoop Band's purposely never answer Young Dolph's calls. Matter of fact, that was a made-up story. Snoop Bands doesn't get his hair cut with his hands under the apron. He gets his hair cut with his hands and eyes glued to his phone. So it doesn't make sense that he would miss a phone call. 
Snoop Bands might be lying, man. Y'all got to watch out for all these people around Dolph, man. We don't know if PRE is 100% somebody that's rocking with Dolph or if there's people lurking in the shadows that really want to see that shit go to ulterior motives. They want to see it go their way. Key Glock was hungry. He was power hungry. He wanted to control the PRE because Key Glock got mad at Young Dolph for not being able to release his albums to be able to release his songs when he wanted to. Young Dolph knew exactly when to drop music because he's a professional at this and made millions and millions of dollars on his own. Why would Key Glock think that his his ideas is better than the dude who's making 20, 30 million dollars a year off of music and not need to sign deals? Key Glock was just salty. Key Glock don't know how to run a company. That's why he don't wear suits or nothing like that. He don't go shake hands with the business guys. He doesn't try to bring brand deals to his whole career. All he does is basically just talk about what he saw in the streets. And it's everybody else's job to do all the work to actually get that out there, market, promote it, and actually push him on platforms, get radio plays for him. All that business stuff is dealt by people who know how to handle money and stuff. And Key Glock, when he gets his money, he just goes spend it on the jewelry. He just goes spend it on yellow cars. So what y'all got to understand is that everybody around Key Glock knows the money part except for Key Glock. That's why he gets mad thinking that he wants to release his music whatever time he does. But Young Dolph thinks that, nah, if you hold the project till this date and we all drop, that's going to get more eyes on you, which means you're going to triple the money. Or Key Glock just want fast money and he ready to just get it all over with now. Everybody around Young Dolph wanted fast money and they was ready to get rid of him just now. What y'all got to understand is that people was blood and money thirsty around Dolph. The people that was around Dolph didn't want to protect him. The people that was around Dolph was supposed to protect him. Especially Big Moochie Grape when they got out that plane. When they came back from New York, went to Atlanta and then to Memphis that weekend of the turkey drive. In November 14, 15, 16, and 17. Y'all got to understand, man. The gas station footage was not even the day before. The Ruth Chris footage needs to fully be released. There was a fight in the parking lot. Young Dolph Shoe was left in the parking spot. Somebody found it on surveillance camera. You can binge watch all my videos and go look at that first one. Hey, Big 30 cousin Big Nooski was shot because of the Young Dolph situation. He was supposed to ride with Straight Drop to do B1 the Hitman. He was supposed to take place of Shondell. Shondell Barnett snitched on Cornelius Smith and Straight Drop as the Fall Guys, but he's the one who pulled the shot. MPD purposely released Shondell Barnett because they was too thirsty to put together a narrative, try to get Shond Shondell um, in and out to snitch on Straight Drop because they wanted Straight Drop as the Fall Guy because he agreed to it. And Straight Drop and Dolph have been in songs together before, in the backgrounds of pictures together before. They wanted to make it seem like it was from that. But what you got to understand is that Yo Gotti, CMG, Black Youngster, and them sent the hit just like how they did it the last time with 100 Shots, man. Hey, rest in peace to Young Dolph, man. Go ahead and like this video. Comment down below. I'm going to catch you on the next one.